Hello ladies and gents and welcome to this quarter's class of English 410. I'm glad you're all able to join us uh, for the time we get to spend together learning and honing our skills in professional and organizational communication. Uh, we have this Canvas course set up to guide our learning um, and I just want to show you a couple resources that I've got in here for you as we get started this week. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do, and of course by now it's a 400 level class, all this is old hat for you guys. Uh, but for the sake of complete clarity, we're going to go over just briefly everything we've got here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is familiarize yourself with our syllabus. Uh, so we've got the syllabus linked for you here. It goes through in great detail uh, what the expectations are for this class, how to be successful, what our grade scale lo looks like, um, and different ways uh, that we can understand each other in order to be uh, better in this class. So check out uh, that syllabus, read it in depth. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Uh, also on this page, you can see a course summary that has all of our assignments laid out nicely for you. Uh, that's also available in the calendar, which we'll talk about in a moment. I do wanna call your attention to the announcements. I'm gonna be using this section of Canvas very regularly. Every Monday, you can expect to see an announcement from me going over uh, what you're going to be doing this week, what kind of areas you might want to prioritize in terms of time spent on projects uh, and um, different support materials I can call your attention to, different areas in the modules uh, that are going to provide resources for you. So the announcements are going to be really helpful as you orient yourself for the week, for the coming due dates, and the kind of work that you're going to need to do. If you click on the assignments, you can get a glimpse at what our quarter is going to look like in terms of points and things to be uh, watching out for. Uh, you'll see that there is a range of points here, 40 points, 100 points. Um, so pay attention to points as you're prioritizing your time. Some things are worth more than others, and that denotes that they're going to be a little extra effort um, to get them accomplished. Uh, I want to call your attention to one of the bigger point projects. It's a proposal for management investigative report. That's 150 points. You've got another 150 point assignment down here. Those are going to be the biggest things we're doing this quarter. Uh, we're going to spend time talking about them, but I do want to call your attention to those um, so that as you look at the calendars, as you orient yourself, you'll see where we're headed. So the modules have everything you need, the assignments list, everything you're going to be turning in. The modules are primary for support material. I will be adding to these as the class progresses. If folks request sample documents, uh, if I feel like a recorded lecture is necessary in order to clarify uh, the finer points of an assignment, I'll be posting that here in the modules as well. So we've got an introductory letter. I've got some models for you. Uh, we have a memo assignment. I have some samples, an original case study, um, surveys, and of course, lots of samples of the MIR and the annotated bibliography, because those are some of the bigger assignments of the quarter. So this will continue to grow as we progress based on our class needs, but you've got a nice um, set of samples here to get you started. We will be having some discussions in the class. Uh, this is our best attempt at connecting with each other in this online environment. Um, so keep a lookout for these. They will involve conversation with each other and of course, original posts. Uh, and then we've got grades tutoring if you need that kind of uh, support it's available for you absolutely the final thing I want to call your attention to is the calendar of course you all are pros at canvas by now uh, but I just want you to see that we have got our quarter all lined up I have it planned out through the end of the quarter uh, talking about day by day what we should be working on so this is designed to help you as you first look at it it may initially also look overwhelming that's not, of course, the intent, right? <laughs> there is a lot of work in this class. It is a 410 level class. Um, so you have to expect it is going to be fairly rigorous in terms of time spent outside of class and time spent on assignments. Um, but this calendar is designed to help you be successful despite that challenge. Uh, so we've got things to do each day, work on documenting sources in APA. That's gonna be the big thing this week. Um, write and post your focus student profile. The great thing about Canvas is that if you click on one of these little guys, uh, it will take you to the assignment itself. Click on the title and it will take you to the focused student profile. It gives you all of the information you need to be successful in that assignment. 
Uh, so Canvas is really nicely set up so that we can be uh, on top of things. We don't have surprise attack due dates or anything like that. So you'll see that we are well flushed out here. There's always something to be doing, always something to be working on, um, which is one of the wonderful challenges of this level of class. Uh, please know that I am here to support you on your academic journey. So sometimes students feel uncomfortable asking for help. They feel like they're bothering their professor or interrupting them or something like that. Uh, but truly supporting student success is a part of our job. And I love my job, guys. I love teaching. I love this area of writing. And so if you have questions, please reach out. I'm here to help. Uh, other than that, Let's get started, dust off the uh, vacation brain and go ahead and jump right in. Uh, we should be purchasing our APA style manual that's available in the bookstore or very cheaper online. Uh, don't tell the bookstore I told you that though. Uh, <laughs> read chapter two of your APA style guide, Understanding Conventions, uh, because we will be working on our APA documenting sources assignment, which is due on Sunday. So we've got almost a week to get that done, um, but procrastination is not our friend, right? Speaking as a reformed procrastinator, um, it's better to kind of take things in smaller bites as opposed to saving something for five minutes before it's due. Uh, if you have questions, do please reach out. I take about 24 to 48 hours uh, to respond to messages and email. Um, so if you have a question at 11 p.m., about something that's due at midnight that same night, I'm probably not gonna have time to get back to you, right? But if you give me a little bit of a time window, I am absolutely on board, we can figure things out, it gives us time to dialogue, we can set up a Zoom appointment if we need to, we have lots of options to support your learning. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions, I'm happy to help you uh, as we navigate this challenging 410 course together. So check out the calendars, read through the assignments, familiarize yourself with the syllabus, and let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to our time together this quarter.